Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. It's your neighborhood friendly Oxhorn, and here we are in Far Harbor, and I'm going to be showing you off all the unique weapons that you can get from the first two major towns that you can find. So first on the list is Admiral's Friend, a unique harpoon gun. You can get this from Alan Lee in Far Harbor. It has a unique effect that does de double damage when your enemy is at full health. It comes with 150 damage, a fire rate of 2, and at 10 charisma it cost me 1,206 caps. It's not upgraded at all, it has the standard harpoon and the standard sights. It's a slow weapon that you have to reload constantly, but it's good for vats, and you can retrieve your harpoons from the body of your enemy when done, which could potentially save you on ammunition. Alan Lee also sells a unique melee weapon called the Fish Catcher. It's just basically a hook on a stick. It has a unique ability that uh, has 40% action point cost, which is another great VATS weapon. It's slow, the damage is 51, and it only cost 208 caps. It didn't come with any upgrades. My character is not a melee character, so I ran away from this encounter. When you get to Acadia, find a merchant called Dejin. He sells Old Reliable, which is a pump action rifle. It does an incredible amount of damage when fully upgraded. This particular one shoots an additional projectile, which is of course very valuable on any gun. It does 147 damage and takes 0.45-70 ammunition. With 10 charisma, it cost me 979 caps, and it doesn't have a lot of very good uh, mods on it when you get it. It's got the long barrel, the standard receiver, the short stock, standard sights, and no muzzle. But uh, once fully upgraded, it's quite a deadly weapon. He also sells a unique flamethrower called Sergeant Ash. Now this one is pretty exciting. It uh, has the kneecapper legendary effect, which does 20% chance to cripple your target's legs. And I found that when using it, uh, just standing and holding it on an enemy for a short period of time brought him to his knees, uh, which kept the enemy on, on his knees for quite some time, and I could switch to a more powerful weapon if I wanted to and finish him off without the risk of being attacked. It does uh, 16 energy damage, but of course it fires very quickly a fire rate of 90, and it costs 854 caps with 10 charisma. It's not upgraded too well, it's got a standard tank, a standard barrel, but it does have the medium-large propellant tank, and it has the best nozzle in the game, the vaporization nozzle. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, a quick overview of the four unique slash legendary weapons that you can find in the early stages of Far Harbor, all from merchants. If you've been playing for a long time, you've saved up plenty of caps, so you should get the ones that suit your character build the best. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome Fallout 4 and Far Harbor content, and thanks again for watching.